The need to feel safe and secure is built into every living thing. But when we consider security on a global scale, the technology required to protect hundreds of millions of people, we sometimes forget the sheer engineering audacity behind it. How do you make an aircraft that weighs over 100 tons invisible? Navigate the depths of the ocean with exacting precision? Or stop a national security threat that only exists in lines of code? I've always marveled how companies like Northrop Grumman can turn what was once the stuff of H.G. Wells or Isaac Asimov into real-time technology. Since taking over as CEO and president of Northrop Grumman in 2019, Kathy Warden has been leading this mission for one of the world's largest aerospace and defense companies. So I visited Northrop's Virginia headquarters, where Kathy and I covered these topics, as well as her personal journey into an unexpected career. Kathy, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me, Christine. You lead one of the largest defense companies in the world. How did you end up with a career in national security and what drives your passion? I never would have expected to be in the role that I'm in today when I started my career. I started working with a technology focus and it was not until following 9-11-2001 that I joined this industry. And when I was asked to do so, I thought it was something I'd do for a couple of years. And then I'd go back to what I knew, working with commercial companies, applying technology to their missions. But I got a passion for this work. I wanted to make the world a better place. And I feel like the work that we do in this industry is really important to providing stability and peace around the globe. As CEO and president of a major defense company, Kathy has a unique insight into some of the world's major challenges and what it takes to protect the U.S. and its allies. As we think about how the world has changed, even in the last few years, and the degrading stability, I think that we all are feeling a little less comfortable with how the world has evolved. The best way to deter conflict is to have the capability to quickly end a conflict. And our allies around the globe depend on that deterrence capability as well for peace and stability. We absolutely are staying on the forefront of advanced computing, artificial intelligence, even quantum. And as we think about those advancements in technology, we figure out how do we apply them then to the mission of our customers. What we do every day is help provide airmen, sailors, uh, and soldiers the capability they need to get to where their mission is, successfully conduct that mission, and get home safely. And so that translation of those advanced technologies to mission systems that give them that capability is the, the core of our company's work. Northrop Grumman is also pioneering across every sector of space, from rockets to telescopes to global security, and this new vector is providing exciting opportunities for growth. Space is such an exciting area, Christine. It's an area that just creates so much wonder and possibility. And what we found is as we are doing more in space, it is opening a whole pipeline of talent that wants to come work in this exciting environment. There are two aspects of what we do. Space exploration is about understanding the universe in which we uh, live and whether there might be ways to expand off of Earth and have commercial application outside. The second, though, is the national security mission that is so core to Northrop Grumman. And that is important because just a few years ago, space was not a contested domain. Now today, it is a contested domain. And as a result, we are working with the government to re-architect just about every mission that's conducted in space to a more resilient architecture. And that's really exciting, both from a technology perspective, but also enabling national security. You've made ESG a priority. What would you say to convince someone that Northrop Grumman belongs in an ESG-focused portfolio? The first thing I would communicate is why I'm in the industry, and that's because I truly believe in the work that we do and its importance to national security. But beyond that, we want to be good corporate citizens, which means preserving resources uh, for future generations and thinking about being good stewards in the communities in which we operate. 
we have a very clear set of environmental and social goals that we measure. And that measurement provides accountability and transparency to our investors. As an industrial company, there are environmental matters that we have to really work to address in the way we produce product. But we've taken that seriously and seen an over 40% reduction in our emissions in the 10 years that we have been working toward our goals. And we've set aggressive goals for the next decade as well that will approach net zero for our scope one and scope two emissions. There is a race for talent in America. Some of our best and brightest coming out of universities have their sights set on Silicon Valley. How do you hire and retain talent for Northrop Grumman? We believe that Northrop Grumman is a fantastic place for engineers and mathematicians and scientists because we're working on some of the most advanced technology in the world. We can't always talk about it, so we absolutely have a disadvantage, but Despite not being a household name, we are generating new technologies that are changing the world. And so we share that with our prospective employees and try to make it very tangible to them. Over 2,000 interns a year get the opportunity to come inside Northrop Grumman and get firsthand exposure to the work we do. And we have an extremely high conversion rate for those interns. Every day in the office is high stakes at a major defense company but Kathy says her family helps keep her grounded and motivated. I have two teenage boys and there's nothing like children to remind you who you are and where you came from. I enjoy spending time with my family and it helps me to remember why I do the work I do and inspire me to come back every day and give it my all. Great, well, thank you very much, Kathy. Really appreciate the time and for you to share your thoughts with us today. Thank you, Christine, for having me.